All right, we're going to do a benchmark test for the five times fact family. So what I'd like for you to do is to complete all the diagrams on this page. Once you do that, just remain calm and I'll come around and check them. Go ahead, you can start. Okay, I'm looking at your diagrams and they all appear to be correct. So I've written 10 out of 10 for diagram accuracy. Now what I'd like for you to do is to complete one multiplication sentence and one division sentence for each diagram. You're not timed. Try to do your best job. Go ahead. Okay. okay, your sentences are all done. Let me correct those. First one looks right. Yeah, looking good. Everything looks perfect. Excellent job. So that's 20 out of 20. Fantastic. Good job. Okay, everybody did really well on the benchmark. So now we're going to work on fluency. So the first thing we're going to do here is you're going to complete all the diagrams and I'm going to note the time that it takes you. It's important not to rush. Just try to keep moving. If you do that, everything will be fine. Don't hurry, just try to keep moving, and I'll make a note of how long it takes to do your diagrams, then stop. Okay, go ahead, start filling in your diagrams, take your time. All right, the benchmark time to try to get to is 60 seconds for all the diagrams. So I usually go around and see who's done within 60 seconds and make a note. And everyone in this class did, and so everybody past that benchmark. And so now I'm going to correct and make sure everything's accurate and then they're going to write sentences and they're going to try to write their sentences within three minutes. Okay, I'm looking through. This looks very good, my friend. Perfect. So I'm going to go up here, diagram accuracy again, 10 and it's going to be less than, less than 60, which is great. Okay, you're going to fill out the fluency tracker page. So this is for the five times back family. If you look at the range of times, it will accommodate students that are fast as well as slow. So as we graph here, we look here at sentence accuracy and diagram accuracy. We just did the test for diagram accuracy and she got 10 out of 10 so I've marked that and she did it in less than 60 seconds so that's good. You can quantify this in terms of each 10 second interval if you want to. She was actually done in 50 seconds. As long as you're underneath here you're good. So if it was way up here if you have slow graph motor output you can show an improvement over time. But since this benchmark's met, we don't have to worry about that. Now we're gonna worry about making sure we get the sentences written within three minutes or 180 seconds. All right, you have all your diagrams correct, so go ahead, I want one multiplication and one division sentence for each diagram. I'm gonna time this, but don't get stressed out, just keep working. Go ahead, you can start. Stu here got 20, sen 20 sentences correct out of 20 in 70 seconds, which is quite a speedy time, just a little bit over a minute. Nice job. Okay, I'm going to record this data on the tracking sheet. So as I go over, I'm looking at sentence accuracy. I'm going to say 20 out of 20 which is a really good job. And then I'm going to find the amount of time, which was 70 seconds. Well below the benchmark level of 180 seconds. So we're in great shape here. I would say this person is functionally fluent. You can do this over time to maintain your skill set and to see if it changes. As you're learning more skills and more facts, you're going to be doing better at this fact 
uh, this fluency assessment, even if you're not practicing this particular fact family. But it is good to go back and review this later and check for regression. Over time, you'll see how students get more accurate and more efficient or fluent over time. So keep this in the back section of their fact book.